Hey, Melissa, just listen to the call. Chuck Robbins said supply chain issues were continuing to ease for the company. Strong quarter overall. Beats in both segments and a beat uh, uh, over margin estimates as well. A sign of that improving supply chain. Dividend also raised by a penny and a big raise on full year EPS guidance. On the call, Robbins discussed what gave Cisco the confidence in its future business. The increased visibility we have from almost $32 billion in RPO, a healthy backlog and pipeline, and improving supply give us the confidence to raise our full-year outlook. We expect those same factors to continue into fiscal year 24. All right, Robin, Robin's referencing forward-looking metrics. Report, remaining performance obligation or RPO was up 4% year-over-year. 53% of that is current RPO, expected to be realized as revenue in the next year. Back to you, Melissa. All right, Frank, thanks. Frank Holland. Jeff Mills, where do you stand on Cisco? Yes, yeah, so this is one we talked about on Friday, and I think generally you might expect a stock like Cisco to underperform during economic contractions. You know, I'm still of the view that that's somewhat likely as we push toward the back half of this year, but I went back and looked at the price chart, and it's actually outperformed during every recession since 1990, and that's before some of this transformation relative to its revenue mix. You have subscription revenue now at 43%. It's also growing a lot faster than overall revenue, so I think that transformation is really positive. It makes the business even more resilient during economic contractions. You know, I generally think that the valuation is pretty fair. It, it pays a decent dividend. So in terms of old, boring tech, I think you could own the stock here. <laughs> um, that chart in the after hours, interesting how it's coming off that pop. It's now up, uh, I don't want to say only 2.5% because that ain't bad, um, but it had been up as much as, what, 8 or 9% immediately after earnings, Tim. Yeah, and, and I think it, it had traded lower and it had not had the same bounce back as some big cap tech. But Jeff's pointed out the multiple on the stock. It, I'd say it's more than decent value. I think it's great value. And I think it's great value, especially in a world where I expect a reversion back to the margin mean, which is probably 67, 68 percent. This is, this is a company, of course, 20 years ago, we were waiting on bated breath or 15 for sure. This was an economic bellwether. Yeah. It was cyclical one on one. Um, it, it's a little different, but I, I, I still think, again, their core business and they have a lot of software in there deserves a higher margin. That's what makes it attractive. That's what makes the multiple attractive because it's, it's a higher growth story than people think. And